Srila Prabhupada talks about love and affection to the Guru as the impetus for surrender, the impetus for pure devotional service. Much more important than anything else. And I wanted to talk about this because I think sometimes this is minimized or neglected. When Prabhupada would talk about his work in the West, why he came, why he was successful, it always goes back to this was the order of my Guru Maharaj. He helped me. I did this out of affection. This is my life. This is my mission to serve him. It was all his mercy that I was successful. So in talking about that, in some places, Prabhupada elaborates on this idea that the impetus for bhakti, the impetus to go on despite difficulty, the impetus to do austerity is coming from the disciples' love for the guru because love is the most powerful force. And also because our love for Krishna is in a seedling state. We can't rely on love. We have to rely on rules and regulations, most of us. And the impetus for doing something is just because it's dharmic, it should be done. But the impetus to do something because it should be done, which I'm going to talk about in another video, is not a strong impetus. But the impetus to do something because my guru wants it and because I want to please him is very strong. And the fact that so many of us gave our lives to Prabhupada was testimony to our love for him. We actually just wanted to see that Prabhupada was happy. We just wanted to please him. Now, we may not have felt that way for Krishna, but we felt that way for Prabhupada. A lot of devotees ask, how do I know who is my guru if I haven't chosen a guru? Okay, you know because there's so many reasons you know. But one of the most important reasons is, do you feel love, affection? Do you feel like giving your life? Do you feel like surrendering? This is, this is where you're going to get much of your impetus to go on in devotional service when you feel like giving up or you're not enthusiastic, but you have affection for your guru. Your guru. You can't give up. This is what he wants you to do. Even though you don't even want to do it, you don't even feel like doing it, but because you have love for your guru, you do it. So this is, this is very important. This is really Prabhupada's story. It was really, if you analyze it, you really see behind everything is his love for his guru. And so love is what bhakti is. It's all about devotion. It's all about dedication. It's all about surrender. It's all about giving because that's what love is. Love is just a manifestation of all of that. That's a byproduct of it. The ramification, so to speak, of love is you do all those things. And that's what devotees did because they love Prabhupada. And because they love Prabhupada, they were willing to do whatever, basically, he wanted. So Prabhupada does talk about this in many places. He uses the word thick and thin. Because I am thick and thin with my guru, I will follow. And sometimes, as you well know, it's difficult to follow. It's a lot easier just to, ah, oh, it's too difficult. I can't follow it. Why will you continue to follow when it's difficult? He says, because my guru is depending on me. My guru asked me to do this. My guru has given me so much. This is the least I can do. So that impetus to do something sometimes when you just feel like, I have no desire. It's so, the pulling, the pullings of Maya are so strong. And then you think, no, this is what my guru wanted me to do. This is the least I can do to pay him back for what he's given to me. And I can never pay him back. So cultivating love for the guru and cultivating love, if you're not initiated by Prabhupada, you're still his disciple. Cultivating love for Prabhupada, culti cultivating love for Prabhupada's work, 
cultivating love for his mission is all part of cultivating that relationship, which becomes the impetus of love, which then manifests as sacrifice, as dedication, as austerity, as adherence to principles that are sometimes difficult to follow. This is also my own experience when, when things have become difficult. Or just I'm in a situation where it's a service that I, I find very difficult to do. And the, the Prabhupada wants it. So I do it and I can feel his mercy. I can feel his pleasure. I can feel his happiness that I'm doing it. And don't, as Prabhupada said, don't think Krishna doesn't notice. And when you make the spiritual master happy, everything is good. Hare Krishna. 